Hi, thanks for joining me today for another edition of the Bell Performance video blog. I am Eric Bjornstedt with Bell Performance and uh, today I want to talk a little bit about diesel biocides. Uh, biocides are the essential thing that you need in order to kill um, bacterial, microbial, fungus infestations in your fuel. Uh, once you have an infestation, of course, uh, you know we talk about controlling water, but uh, sometimes controlling water is not going to be enough in all circumstances to prevent a microbial infestation. So when you have one, you have to use a biocide to get rid of it. There's really nothing else uh, that will work. Uh, but biocides are not things that you can just dump in the top of the tank and then, as Ron Popeil used to say, you know, set it and forget it. You can't do that with biocides. There are certain things, certain recommendations that uh, you can do in order to really improve the chances, improve the effectiveness of that biocide that you're putting into the tank. And you want the biocide to be effective because biocides, uh, by their very nature, are not cheap. They're not inexpensive. A, uh, a gallon of Bell Performance's biocide, Bellicide, will retail for about $220 a gallon. Now that will treat a little over 5,000 gallons, so um, you're getting away with a treat rate of four cents, but uh, for large fuel users, that's significantly more expensive than, let's say, a multifunctional fuel additive like Diesel, where they can treat their, their fuel for like one cent per gallon. So, things that you can do as a buyer side user to improve the effectiveness of that buyer side. First thing is, after you have added the buyer side, uh, go ahead and fill the storage tank up to uh, its maximum level. Uh, so let's say you have a 5,000 gallon tank, you add the buyer side when the fuel is at 2,000 gallons, uh, you add enough buyer side to treat 5,000 gallons because you're going to take 3,000 gallons of fuel and you're going to add it to that tank after you've treated it and you're going to end up with 5,000 gallons of treated fuel at the right treat ratio. Now the reason it's recommended for you to fill the storage tank after you have added the fuel treatment is because as that fuel level rises it's going to ensure that treated fuel makes contact with all of the surfaces within that tank. Biocides will only work when they come into contact with the microbes in question and microbes can live on the surfaces of the storage tank so uh, add the add additional fuel to fill up the tank after you have treated the uh, desired amount of fuel in your storage tank second thing is you want to recirculate the uh, treated fuel for minimum of 30 to 60 minutes. Now the, the optimal circulation time depends on uh, how much fuel you've got in the tank. You've got some power plants that treat uh, stored fuel where they may have 1.2, 1.5 million gallons of diesel fuel just sitting in storage. Uh, those people will want to circulate the fuel a little bit more than that. Uh, they'll probably circulate that for 24 hours but if you've got a 500 gallon tank or a 2000 gallon tank, circulate it for 60 minutes. Now, it needs circulation because it needs uh, as much contact between that biocide and the microbes as possible. Again, biocides will not work if they don't come into contact with the microbes in question. Now, uh, one characteristic or feature of a biocide that you should pay attention to is how quickly does it achieve an optimal kill rate. Uh, you have some biocides out there, uh, such as those that are made with Dibam, that's D-A, excuse me, D-I-B-A-M, and a uh, second chemical, Nibam, N-I-B-A-M. Those typically may take about six hours before they achieve uh, an optimal uh, kill rate. Now, the biocide that we have at Bell Performance, uh, called Bellicide, uh, that works a little bit faster. That takes about two hours to achieve an optimal kill rate. So... Remember to circulate your tanks for uh, at least 30 to 60 minutes uh, after you have treated the fuel. Um, after you've done that, uh, it's not advisable to immediately go and use the fuel. Now, if you're running a business, you may not be able to help that. But uh, in you know, forgetting that consideration, you want to. The third recommendation is you want to let the uh, diesel fuel settle. 
Uh, you want to let it settle because that fuel circulation is probably going to have kicked kicked up some of the stuff that's at the bottom of the tank. And you want to give uh, that stuff a chance to settle down. And you want to, and that that also gives a chance for the microbes that are dead, they're now dead, to settle down to the bottom of the tank. Um, and that gives you a chance. You can then, uh, depending on the design of your tank, you can then clean those out of the sump. Um, and you have less chance of filter clogging, which is the fourth thing. Uh, be ready to, of course, replace filters after you've done your fuel treatment. Um, one of the unfortunate things about having a microbial infestation is that uh, not only do you have to buy a specialty biocide chemical to kill that, but you have to then filter the dead bodies out of that fuel. Now, there is nothing out there that's going to get rid of those. So... Uh, when when we have a customer that has a microbial problem, um, and you know we can tell them, hey, we've got an excellent biocide that will work very well, but then, but that's not going to eliminate any filter plugging until you get all those dead bodies, those dead microbial bodies out of there. That is simply a fact of life when it comes to getting rid of microbial infestations. So, uh, to recap, recommendations to make your biocide e the the most effective it can be. Um, fill the diesel tank after you've added the biocide in order to get as much contact as possible. Uh, circulate the fuel for a minimum of 30, 60 seconds, uh, excuse me, 30, 60 minutes. Um, let the diesel fuel settle for, let's say, about eight hours, six to eight hours before you go using it. Uh, and replace filters for a few days after fuel treatment to get rid of the dead microbes. And a last thing to consider is that if you're storing diesel fuel, uh, not only do you want to uh, have a biocide handy, uh, but you also want to make sure that you have fuel stabilization product. Of course, at Bell, we have an excellent antioxidant called Diesel Life. Um, whatever you choose, you want to make sure that it is a concentrated treat rate and that it is an antioxidant so that it will retard the oxidation reactions that are the primary cause of stored fuels losing their fuel quality. So thanks for joining me today. This uh, has been Eric Bjorn said with Bell Performance, and uh, we will see you next time. Oh, by the way, if you want more information about this, we have a number of helpful articles and blogs on this and other subjects at the Bell website at www.bellperformance.com. And we also have an excellent educational website, www.wefixfuel.com. Anyway, thanks again for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.